que solo es más triste Creo que juntos es difícil Si dejamos que el deseo Nos libere de un abismo Más profundo que uno mismo Como dos ilusionados I was born in Venezuela and uh, parents are Lebanese but I feel I don't really belong to Lebanon and I don't really belong to Venezuela even though I, and I live in the United States I am an American as well I don't really feel like I belong in each one of these parts I think I'm, all these parts belong to me and I belong to them and it's, sometimes it's confusing <laughs> you don't know really where what society what what's um, social structure you belong to but without a doubt I my heart is mostly in the Middle East my heart is in the Middle East and my brain the way I think I is is American is North and South American it's that duality that that's very much a part of me Um, there's many ways of expressing yourself through writing, through painting, but I just think I, I just think that music is uh, it comes from the heart, and very few things can transport you from one place to another, from one part of the world to another, um, and and I think music does that in a in a in a way that very other very few things can do. My influences are very diverse and I think it's that's because of the where I was born and, and my history. And of course I'm very influenced by Arabic and, and Middle Eastern music because those are my roots. My main influence growing up when I was a little girl was Fayrouz because she's basically the symbol of Lebanon for people outside of Lebanon. So I remember a little girl, you know, listening to Bint al and Bhabbak Ya Lebnan, all those traditional uh, Lebanese songs. And of course, there's Am Kalsoum, there's Muhammad Abdel Wahab that actually I started listening to much later in my life because I, you know, when I was a little girl, I was like, I can't listen to that kind of music. It's too old and classical and I want to listen to the Beatles and to, you know, Rolling Stone and to Barbara Streisand and to Simon and Garfunkel and to Cat Stevens. I mean, really, the singers and songwriters were my main influence. And then came jazz, uh, Ella Fitzgerald, Nina Simone. Those were my, my influences as far as jazz is concerned for jazz singers when I started ch singing jazz voice. The fusion of the Latin world that I was born in with the rhythms, with the salsa, merengue, uh, son cubano, and then the Arabic, the traditional, those, those, those two worlds colliding basically is what I am, what I love. There's something about singing in the middle of nowhere in a hall where there's nobody listening to you only you and the sky. Um, there's something magical and that nobody can take that away from you. Um, singing to the gods or to an unknown power. I love writing songs, but I love singing them, whether they're mine or they're not mine. I, I love to sing. It's very interesting how the, the fusion of this album has come about. I, when I was actually writing and starting to produce the, the words, the, the, the songs by myself, I started, interestingly enough, hearing flamenco and the songs. 
And I said, you know, I, I'm not a flamenco guitarist. I could never make it sound like flamenco. I'd have to get someone. And then interestingly enough, my producer calls me and says, you know, there's this guy that wants to work with you. He's heard your stuff. And I'm like, who is this? And so I did research on him and I'm like, oh my God, I, I actually like this guy. I, I actually own pretty much a lot of his albums. Um, so the flamenco came about because of that, and which was great because I wanted that. And then naturally the Latin music, the Latin part, the Cuban uh, rhythms that, I, that are very much a part of what I love in, in song making and songwriting, and the heart. Of, of every one of my songs, which is the Middle East, Lebanon. made some mistake with the harmony. You continue until the end, that we, uh, when, when we finish, we can make a, a composite, okay. choosing the best sentences. In this album, there's several protagonists. Melodically and harmonically, there's the oud, the tres, and the flamenco guitar. And all three of them are doing this dance, all three of them together, not getting into each other's way, pretty much communicating in a very beautiful, subtle, sometimes uh, decisive way. And, and when it's decisive, the other one kind of box backs off. It's a, it's a dance. And then rhythmically, we have the conga, uh, a very Latin rhythmic instrument. We have the cajon, which is also Latin from Spain. Um, and then we have the dirbake and also the the um, the tar, the duff, and all three of them also are communicating in, in, in a beautifully rhythmic, syncopated way that I just think it just works so well. These musicians are so well crafted, they're so, so, they're so gifted in their craft that they pretty much let the other musicians speak and not get in their way either. So I think it works great. How I got to where I am in this album with these songs, I think uh, it's been a journey. Uh, and, and I think it's pretty indicative of where I've been. Uh, traveling between Miami, where I'm based out of right now, and uh, Lebanon, and all the experiences in between those two places and those two worlds, different people, relationships, opportunities that have come about. The, the songs are pretty much a representation of the times that we're living in. Uh, there's very, very tense times in the world, in the Middle East, war. Those are things that are very close to my heart, my homeland, the promised land, quote unquote, um, Palestine, Iraq, Lebanon, of course. All of those things influence my songs and, and of course they're, they're, in my, they're in my text, in the text of the songs. Con tus manos yo me lleno. Con un beso vas creando un sinfín de 